Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 59 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Alright, we are going to continue on with Cinder Shadows again. And for the rest of the, like, the next few videos will just be the remainder of the side story. Because we're very close to the end of it. So let's just get back into here and begin Chapter 5. Where if you remember, Alfred went missing. Cinder Shadows. Betrayal. Oh, it's a bit low. Let me turn it up. I forgot to change the audio settings from the previous game I was playing. I think it was Bowser's Fury. I was just getting some footage ready for that. So that is what transpired. This is indeed the Chalice of Beginnings. It matches the descriptions and the few records of it that remain. Don't beat around the bush. What's our punishment? You removed a most sacred treasure. Truly, it is my obligation to mete out punishment for that transgression. However, you also helped the church locate a valuable artifact. In light of this good deed, I shall forgive the bad one. I do wonder... What's on your mind? I am wondering whether your presence had anything to do with the artifacts unbinding, Professor. As per the Church Chronicles, the Four Apostles secured the Chalice with powerful magic. The only way to release the Chalice is by using the Four Crests passed down through their bloodlines. However, given the special power you possess, perhaps you were able to unlock it yourself. There is no knowing at present. For the time being, I will keep the chalice somewhere safe. As for Elfric, I assure you that the knights will find and return him in due time. I consider him to be one of my many children, after all. I will not allow harm to befall him. Lady Rhea, might I ask a moment of your time? We cannot be expected to give up our endeavor! The enemy stated most clearly that if the knights are involved, our dear Elfric is finished. We owe him so much. If there is any possibility that his life is in danger, the risk is too great to chance. True. The knights are strong and all, but they're liable to get him killed. We can take care of it, with Chatterbox's help. Our professor has the strength of a hundred knights, or about one and a half of me. We've got this. How about it, Rhea? We've been through too damned much to get here. Leave the Chalice and Elfric to us. You won't regret it. Lady Rhea, please. Hmm. Give them a shot. If you consent to join your power with theirs, yes, perhaps there is hope. As you wish, I shall entrust you with the chalice. Your grace, the chalice is a legendary treasure. You can't just hand it over to those underground... That is quite enough. There is no cause to worry, I assure you. There will be no further discussion on the matter. Even if we lost hold of the chalice, it would be impossible for the thieves to make use of it. Though it was created to return a life that was lost, I doubt that anyone alive knows how to accomplish that feat. If someone were to successfully replicate the ritual, it would perhaps be the work of fate. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out if that can happen. Hey boss, been meaning to ask, how'd you end up down here in Abyss? What is this? Some sort of interrogation? Yeah, you've never been big on sharing. I mean, you know all about me, and there's still so much I don't know about you. Look, I get it. Talking about the past isn't easy. But I'm curious, yeah? So get to it. I've got all day. Do you now? <laughs> well, I guess now's as good a time as any to tell you. I'm here because I killed some people from the church. That cannot be! What do you mean by that? Originally, I attended the academy as Count Rose's adopted kid. There came a point when the church ordered me to wipe out some members from my old gang. 
told me it was part of some important mission. Who is this old gang you speak of? They were nothing more than common thieves to someone like you, Constance. Anyway, they're like family to me. So naturally, I protested my orders. Things got pretty heated, and, well, the rest is history. That's some story, pal. You're damn lucky they didn't execute you. <laughs> You're telling me. Alfred stepped in and implored them to spare my life. Told them to consider the circumstances. It's not so different for the rest of you. I'm sure he helped all of us out in different ways. He did. I was about to be thrown in the monastery's underground jail. People thought I was dangerous, what with my gift and all. It's dark and dingy here, but it sure beats a prison cell. Elfie really saved my neck. Back to the point. Balthus, what was it you were so curious about? You had ideas regarding why our enemies may be clawing after the chalice, perhaps? No, nothing like that. But I am hung up on something Rhea said. That binding on the chalice was linked to the Four Apostles, yeah? I know I've got Chevalier's... Sorry, but mind if I cut in? What is it? Can't you see we're busy? I can, but I just remembered something. Something important. Specifically, the names of the Apostles. Oban, Chevalier, Noah, and Timotheus. The four Apostles whose bloodlines were lost to time. I figured the Ashen Wolves might have thoughts about all that. Uh, uh... No use hiding it now, Constance. Let's lay all of our cards on the table. As for me, I've got the major crest of Chevalier. When I enrolled at the Academy, the Church ordered me to keep that tidbit to myself. So I did. Mm-hmm. And I've got the major crest of Oban. Never did sort out how it is I have this thing. As for me, the blood of Saint Noah courses through my veins. This is kept hidden, even from the Empire. Which probably means mine's from Timotheus. I do have a vague recollection of being told my crest is rare. So the four crests, which were presumed lost, have all been gathered into the same house. All thanks to our buddy Elfric, it would seem. And now Elfric has been abducted. Why could that be? If it was the chalice they were after, they could have stolen it from us without the need for anything sly. Maybe someone had it out for him. Or maybe he messed around with the wrong people. Or it could just be unrelated entirely. We're trying to untangle this mess by tying more knots into it. I mean, Balthus, you landed here on accident, didn't you? It's not like that's linked to the rest of us. And I could just as easily have never ended up down here, you know? You're jumping at shadows. Anyway, we don't have time for this. Let's get our act together and head to the chapel ruins. Yeah, it definitely has something to do with them having those crests. Like, four of them? Like, for the four apostles? That's gotta be linked to the chalice. So maybe they're just... This is all a trap to lure all four of the Ashen Wolves to the same location. Well, I guess we'll have to find out and go head over to the chapel. Alright, so I think this is a good time to go do some shopping. Huh? So it is. Battalion Guildmaster? Oh wow, you just popped what in out of nowhere. Oh uh, yeah, we'll just heal everyone's battalion, even Dimitri's. Farewell. Alright, so let's go and I uh, should we get some weapons? I imagine everyone's weapons are well maintained, so I don't think we have to worry about that. Well, we got some bullions to sell, so there's a good thing. Maybe I should get a Steel Lance Plus for Dimitri. That might be a good idea. Let's just get that out of the way while we can. Ah, here we go. Mm, we're gonna be running low on these pretty soon. So maybe I should only forge what's on low health, Is this I guess. It? There you go. 
And everything else seems fine. You know, let's get another Iron Axe. There you go. Just in case. Come back any day there. And I don't think we need to get anything else. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind getting some new, like, healing items. That might be a good idea, actually. Welcome. Which means I gotta start selling these bullions. This one? Thank you. Because we're running low on cash. Thank you. Is that all we got? Oh, nope, there's another one. This one? Thank you. Oh, you got a bullion too. This one? Thank you. And I think that's it. Unless there's some in the convoy. Nope, there isn't. I don't think I've had to worry about poison that much. Because we kept ourselves well maintained. This one? Thank you. Alright, I'm just gonna change up Please my uh, concoctions for Byleth. He's only got one left. Oops. Uh, can I trade with... Oh, I already got plenty of these. So I didn't even need to buy that. Uh, who's really low on concoctions? I don't think anyone's really low. Oh, you are. There you go, Hilda. Make sure you're well maintained as well. Alright, did I go over to the scrap heap? I don't think I did. Hmm. Oops, I'm going the wrong way again. That so? Hey, Ash. To be honest, I'm surprised Lady Rhea was so willing to just hand over the chalice like that. Doesn't the church consider it important? I know she said they wouldn't be able to use it, but something doesn't feel right. Yeah, like, why would they let us go after it? Oh, trusted bow. Probably because they, they think that we're going to be able to unseal it. You know, do it for them. Huh. I can't believe my wild hypothesis was correct. I may not look it, but I'm shocked. It's like casting a line and thinking you've landed the big one, but then you reel it in and it setteth. Okay, that was a weird analogy. The point is, I'm very, very shocked. Why so specific with that one? We go to all that trouble bringing Lady Rhea a priceless artifact and not so much as a thank you? We had to release the binding and everything. Well, I mean, it kind of released on its own, but Let's wrap this up and head home, so I can get some quality sauna time. Hilda needs a steaming. She's already quite steaming mad. <laughs> the four apostles. Finally, it makes sense. Oh yeah, for sure. You don't even know what I was going to say. Nobody likes a faker. The four apostles. Oh, okay. Want to be a rude about it? Ah. Uh. My head's gonna explode if I keep thinking about all this complicated junk. For now, we just need to focus on rescuing Elfric and sniffing out some answers. I know it's been one crisis after another, but you're still game to help us, yeah? We need you, pal. Yeah, I got your back. Is Elfric an enemy or an ally? He's worked tirelessly to protect Abyss for years and years. Yet, had House Nouvelle not met such a terrible fate, I would never have come to Garrick Mach. And Noah's bloodline would never... Can his kidnapping really be a simple coincidence? Or... I don't think it's a coincidence. I suppose it's all out in the open. Now you know just what I'm capable of. The church would have destroyed me ages ago if it wasn't for a certain someone having my back. My life was spared. It's a debt I intend to pay, no matter the cost. Don't worry, we'll get him out of there safe and sound. Yes, sir. Now let's check on the rest of the gang. Hey, Edelgard. This is awkward. The descendants of the four apostles. 
fascinating to think that their bloodlines carried on in secret right under our noses one was even disguised as imperial nobility house nouvelle was thought to be descended from saint macula but that was a fabrication how did they manage to avoid detection for so many generations it's like someone willed it to happen lost crests elfric's objective since our journey's outset, the mystery has only deepened. Ah, please, forgive me. Musing aloud isn't going to get us anywhere. For now, let's finish our preparations. I fear a battle is imminent. Just like every chapter? Gotcha. Those lost crests. They must all have their own relics, don't you think? Uh, but before we dig into a new mystery, we better figure out the ones we're already working on. I have a theory, but... Actually, scratch that. No use guessing when our answers await at the chapel ruins. Really? True enough. All right, what's going on over here at the pagan altar? There is danger here because we could be attacked. But the same danger is there for me on the surface. The only way to leave the danger is to disappear. And leave all these cats behind? No, you can't do that. I think we got everything all straightened out, and I've talked to everyone among us, except for the NPCs. I'd say we just proceed to battle, but I'm probably not going to start the battle until the next episode. Hey, friend. Let's not deny that there's a connection between us. How about you and me have ourselves a little date, huh? You're smiling with your mouth, but not your eyes. <laughs> it only happens when I'm being a little greedy. When the bell strikes midnight, meet me out front at the Holy Mausoleum. My only condition is that you arrive promptly after midnight, and not a moment before. What say you? Isn't it forbidden to enter the Holy Mausoleum? All will be revealed when you arrive. Nobles have nearly killed one another fighting for my affections, you know. Perhaps you won't get all you want out of me. <laughs> but I'll promise you a fun time regardless. It's settled. I'll see you tomorrow night, friend. Don't stand me up. Your Grace, please reconsider. The chalice is among the church's greatest treasures akin to even the hero's relics. I am well aware, which is why I have already dealt with the matter. Consider this. The hero's relics are fearsome weapons imbued with great power. On the contrary, the chalice has long lost the power it once possessed. It is little more than a token of history. If that is so, then why is it still considered such an important artifact? It was created for a sacred purpose. To use the blood of the four apostles to... return the goddess to our world. Their blood. Your grace. Is something the matter? I have an urgent mission for you. Investigate the origins of the Ashen Wolves. Start with their enrollment forms for the Academy. Keep an eye out for falsified documents. Yes, of course. Understood. Before you begin, summon Alois at once. I have new orders for the knights as well. As you wish, Your Grace. If I am correct, we haven't a moment to lose. Another tragedy is soon to transpire. That crumbly old chapel somewhere nearby or what? I can play a little part here, save perhaps as a bargaining chip for our dear Elfric. Getting yourself captured instead? That wouldn't be good at all, Constance. I think we should be more worried about B's appearance. I mean, he's got way, way more, uh, life experience than the rest of us. And all that life experience makes you look more like a knight than a student, B. You saying I'm old, pal? Don't forget, you're speaking to the ageless king of grappling. 
She's not wrong, Balti. There's a pretty big age gap between you two. You're friends with Helda's older brother, right? That explains your maturity. You make Hubert look like a spring chicken. Can it, will ya? Anyway, I'm wearing a school uniform. No way in hell they'll think I'm a knight. Yeah, and anyone wearing a school uniform is without a doubt a student. To be honest, for a good while, I actually did think you might be a knight. Who made your uniforms and set up the Ashen Wolf House, anyhow? If I might so humbly interject, that would be Elfric. He pulled everything together for us. Sometime after he was appointed as the Guardian of Abyss. Said he wanted to give former students who were expelled from the Academy somewhere to live. Somewhere to belong. Of course, all of this was established long before any of us were in the picture. So getting you four together was a coincidence? Perhaps. After hearing all of that, it's not as unbelievable as I thought. All I know is that he helped me, so I'll help him. I strongly doubt that I shall factor into Elfric's retrieval, but I shall follow your lead. There it is. We owe Elfric. Maybe your goddess doesn't care about debts, but my fists and I sure do. Sorry to have roped you into all of this, friend. No, you're not. I don't mind. We owe you. Just stick with us a bit longer, won't you? This is great! That's me ready to get to it and start hitting things. Yeah, whatever you say, Kyle. We'll find some drywall for ya. What's up? Ever since I was a kid, I've lived my life by one rule. That I'd only play my hand if I was guaranteed victory. I've gotten this far by using my cunning in any way necessary. Lying, cheating, even killing when there was no other way. But this next play? Well, the odds don't exactly seem to be in my favor. Not unless you trust me enough to provide me with an ace. <laughs> Never you mind, friend. Let's just go. Well, this should get quite interesting. All right, I guess I'll stop the video here, and then the next parts will soon be preparing for the uh, mission. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.